Obviously, since draft day, I've gone to bed thinking about this this opportunity I have right here in front of me, and I'm just excited to once again go out there and learn and compete. To actually be in that locker room and have a locker to myself and uh, consider myself a member of this team, it's pretty cool. As soon as that playbook hit my hand, I understood that you have to take it as as your job and work at that playbook as much as you can. When you hear stories of guys uh, who who've been very successful, you hear about how every season they step back in with a new mindset and, and they get back into that playbook the same way they would as if they're rookie um, th those lessons have kind of taught me that I'm really gonna have to you know buy into that and, and spend as much time as I possibly can uh, learning as much as I can so I can eventually try to compete what's the biggest thing you've learned so far from you since you've walked in this building that you're gonna you're gonna have to be able to say the plays in the huddle before you can actually do anything. Uh, that, that's gonna be the, the biggest uh, transition piece for me coming from a, a team where it was all you know hand signals uh, in high school, also in college. So to, to be able to go in there and command the huddle and, and be able to communicate to the guys is definitely the first thing on the agenda. You know, he's a very talented player. He's a big guy with a big arm, um, very bright. And I think um, he has a lot of upside, but he's got a lot of work to do, and I think he knows that. This weekend and, and in the last couple of days, uh, we figured out that the, the biggest theme is to simply you know, start learning. Uh, there's so much that I need to learn before I can even consider thinking about competition and trying to play. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm at step one, and I need to get to, you know, to level 500 before I can even consider stepping on the NFL field. Did Gruden talk to you much about calling plays in the